हेलो ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर सारिका झावरे हेड कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ए आई सी सी एम एस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोटोटाइपिंग मॉडल एंड द केस स्टडी रिलेटेड टू दिस प्रोटोटाइपिंग मॉडल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट मॉडल्स द लिमिटेशंस and why they are not suitable for the large system so start from the prototyping model this model the basic advantage of this model is it is suitable for the large size of a projects and how it work that we'll see now so prototyping if you could see the name itself suggest we are going to build a prototype just uh, we can see that a sample all the skeleton of that complete system so as usual for the any type of a project the first phase is the requirement gathering and that is important phase then proto in case of a prototyping model the quick design means whatever the customers are giving the quickly designed by the designer or we can say that the project management team quickly design that that prototype get created that prototype is discussed that prototype is discussed with customer again again if customer by considering what he has said and what he will see what what he is uh, given so based on that he again think about his requirement and if there is any mismatch found customer get chance to communicate again and as per the customer's requirement this requirement refinement as per customers and suggestions are done so whatever that requirement that is again included in a quick design so likewise this is a complete cycle as per as prototyping model is concern and once the customer is satisfied with whatever they are showing he as per my requirement now it's okay so then that is considered as a final um, requirement of that particular software so what is the meaning of this prototyping is that this actually taking more efforts on the requirement refinement gathering and refinement so what happened because of this at the initial stage all the requirements of the project get refined properly and what exactly customer is expecting what he is saying and what exactly he is expecting whether we are understanding the same thing from the customer or not so that gap get reduced because of this prototyping model so pure what we can say requirements will be there in the hand of the project management team and now as usual whatever our software development model we can say that a basic model that is waterfall model so based on that model the development of that project get start so whatever the design prototype design is ready now that design and this design is the different this design is for, from the implementation point of view so that developer team can make use of that design document um, to for the further implementation so after implementation testing then maintenance then deployment of that project and uh, again all are having as we are talking about the iterative um, uh, waterfall model so there is the iteration means each and every phase get communicated with each other and the refined product will get ready so if you can see prototype is not very much a new concept but just by adding this two different phases means initial part is the prototype design and second part is the iterative model waterfall model see without iterative or without waterfall model or the structure like waterfall model it is not possible to implement any project but whatever the limitations of iterative model that this prototype model is overcome and then the structure is something like this so uh, the advantages of prototyping model model are fixes the customer requirement yeah just now whatever we have seen ki repeatedly the customer get involved in that project so whatever you are saying is it like this so repeatedly the project management team is asking them a question by showing them some what we can say documents or showing them some prototype of their system so that's why the fixes the customer requirement 
prototype helps to clear the logic of the system to developer as well as customer so because prototype design is different and then again design part is there that's why it's very much clear to project management team also ki what exactly customer wants prototype helps a lot in actual development errors are detected much earlier gives quick user feedback for better solution that are the advantages so along with advantages there are some limitations or what we can say disadvantages of this prototyping model the client involvement is more and it is not always considered by the developer definitely this is this might be a limitation from the developer point of view now here what is going to happen customer is happy he is what he want he has communicated now thing comes to the developer repeatedly there is involvement of a customer and repeatedly there may be possible customer get chance to change his view something like this so that might be a disadvantage it is a slow process because it, it takes more time for the development because as we have seen in the diagram it is just like a cycle so till customer is not satisfied with whatever he has said and whatever we are showing him that cycle get repeated many changes can disturb the rhythm of the development it might be possible it is the thrown away prototype when the users are confused with it and construction of prototype involve prototype involve additional cost so this is the limitations but still if we want to have a perfect product so that way is the correct in both the way because we after completion of a project customer should not say i don't want this feature why you have included and there may be possible development team say ki you have already said that's why we have to avoid that gap that prototyping is the best solution so um, in view of that suppose whatever this hospital management system from last uh, in last video also i am taking the reference of this uh, what we can say case study so here also we can consider the same case study so it is like a uh, uh, gui and its forms how the forms will look like in this way the system will appearance of the system so if we consider the prototyping for model for this particular system so suppose this four are the features for this hospital management system we are considering so whenever there is the meeting with the customer so related to each and every feature how the computer screen or what we can say gui will be look like so in receptionist module we are going to enter this four five fields of a customer sorry patient then submit once it submit it will be saved in a database then reports will be or excel files or csv files will be in this format so all these features and related to their formats get discussed with the customer once customer will say yes then the implementation process is same like the iterative waterfall model that we have seen already seen in a previous model so in this way the hospital management implementation of the hospital management in the angle of because in previous videos hospital management system we have considered right but we have not considered how the prototyping of this will be there isn't it so prototype along with the srs software requirement specification of this particular system this prototype design will be there if we consider the prototyping model so in next video we will consider the another software development model along with same case study thank you